Today is our 4th of July. And other than being 195 years younger than the United States, <laughs> our country's respective national birthdays have many things in common. Like the US, we won our sovereignty from the British. <laughs> and while the US required a war, we simply asked them to leave, politely. <laughs> Like in the U.S., today is the day we honor the UAE's founder and his vision. Sheikh Zayed is our George Washington. He unified our seven emirates into a strong and lasting federation. And most significantly, like the U.S., on this day, we mark our beginning as a new country. A country that would become an open, tolerant, progressive, and stable force in one of the world's most difficult regions. For sure, the UAE and the US are different countries with different histories, cultures, and political systems. But at the same time, we also recognize that we have more in common today than ever before. Today, Emiratis and Americans are united by shared interests and common values. In very important ways, the UAE and the US are united in outlook. The UAE sees itself as the future and as a regional model for openness and tolerance where hundreds of different nationalities can live and work together. We believe that religion is a pillar of morals and tradition, but also of peace and respect for others. We believe that women must be fully empowered. <laughs> There's gotta be more women here than that. We believe that art culture, and education inspire creativity, learning, and enlightenment. Our two countries' common outlook is reflected in working partnerships like NYU Abu Dhabi, which graduated its first class and opened its new campus this year. There is the Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi, which will welcome patients in a few months, and the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi, which will open its doors to art lovers in 2016. Our countries are also united in prosperity. We both see the power and benefits of open markets and of free trade. At $27 billion per year, the UAE is the US's largest trading partner in the Middle East. The United States exports more goods and services to the UAE than any country in the region. And the UAE is one of the largest international investors in the US, and American companies have one of the largest footprints in the UAE. Perhaps nothing better symbolizes the shared economic benefits than the aviation sector. When combined, UAE Airlines is the single largest purchaser of Boeing aircraft in the world. And our airlines are using these planes to connect the US and the UAE to the rest of the world, delivering economic benefits and better links between Chicago, Dallas, and Boston, not only with Dubai and Abu Dhabi, but with hundreds of other cities across Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. So in outlook and in prosperity, we are bound closer together. But nothing unites us more than, a shared, than our shared interests in making the region and the world safer and more secure. In the current campaign against ISIS and other violent extremists, our air forces have functioned virtually as a single force. UAE and US pilots fly joint missions against a common threat on a daily basis. And on any given day, mission commanders could be Americans or they can be Emiratis. For our militaries, this has become standard operating procedure. In Afghanistan, UAE pilots flew close air support for US ground forces, and US pilots did the same for UAE special forces. Including the ISIS and the Afghanistan campaigns, the UAE has participated in six coalitions with the United States over the last 25 years. I'm going to repeat that again because this is very important. Six coalitions in the last 25 years, and I stand up here proudly saying that we are the only Arab country to be in that position. Our country may be small in size, but we are a big partner with America in security, in prosperity, and in outlook. And so today, in honor of our National Day, we're launching a new initiative to expand awareness and understanding of the close friendship 
and important partnership between our two nations. And if one picture is worth a thousand words, then a short video is worth even more. Allow me to invite you to spend just a few minutes watching a brief film that says more about the UAE-US relationship than I ever could. Ten fingers are stronger than five. Six simple words. Words that guide us. Words that define us. Words that bring us together. Bind us together. They help us define our place with one another and define our relationships with our friends. Ten fingers are stronger than five. With these words, our country was born. Upon these words, our relationship with the United States is built. A relationship. A partnership. A friendship inspired by common interests, tempered on the field of battle, confirmed by the test of time. Ten fingers are stronger than five, so together we will shoulder the load. Meet each challenge, embrace each opportunity, and the compass for our journey will be found in our name. We will be united to protect our families and create a more peaceful world. United to encourage expression and to inspire young minds. United to find the next great advances in science and medicine. United to create opportunity and prosperity for everyone. United by six simple words. Because ten fingers are stronger than five, we are, and ever will be, united. I'm very pleased to have you be the first to see the many ways we will, in the weeks and months ahead, highlight how our two nations are united for a better future. I encourage you to tweet about the campaign and to visit our new website. Let me say it more honestly. You have to tweet about the new campaign. <laughs> and you're not leaving this ballroom until you do. And. General Austin here behind me is in charge of implementation of this policy. <laughs> I want to take a special moment to recognize the bonds and the extraordinary sacrifices of our two militaries that are currently fighting extremists together again. As most of you know, General Austin is the commander of Central Command. And as most of you also know, he has his hands quite full these days. Before I invite him up here to the podium, I would just like to say on behalf of the UAE government and the UAE people that, sir, we are very, very grateful for your support, for your friendship, and for your being here with us tonight. Thank you, General Austin. In case you're wondering, uh, I really don't tweet, but uh, <laughs> I, I promise to learn. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests, and there are many here tonight, welcome to everyone. Charlene, my bride, and I are absolutely delighted to be here and to join you in celebrating National Day. Mr. Ambassador, sir, I, I want to extend my sincere thanks to you and your lovely bride of beer for hosting this wonderful gathering and for your dear friendship. The United States is proud and grateful to share a strong partnership with the United Arab Emirates, and I do believe that the very positive and productive relationship between our militaries represents the cornerstone of that long-standing partnership. And over the years, we've joined forces to combat a number of common threats. And together, we have enjoyed tremendous success. And you, as, as the ambassadors so eloquently stated, 
Our countries benefit greatly from the continued cooperation between our militaries. And certainly we are seeing this demonstrated now as we fight together to defeat ISIL. Just over two months ago, we dropped the first bombs in Syria. And your pilots, Mr. Ambassador, participated in those initial strikes. You know, I was in our Joint Operations Center on the night of the 23rd of September, and I watched our pilots and your pilots and your crews and our other members of the coalition conduct those strikes. And you should know that you have every reason to be enormously proud of the great men and women that represented you that evening and that continue to represent you on a daily basis. They did an absolutely phenomenal job that night and they and the other members of the coalition continue to fly with us today and they're all performing exceptionally well under some very difficult and demanding situations. Ladies and gentlemen, it will take time, but we will defeat ISIL. And we will defeat this barbaric enemy because we hold the strategic advantage over him. Initially, ISIL may have had the tactical and operational advantage when they launched their major offensive into Iraq. But we've shown that we have the strategic advantage because we were able to quickly unite a broad coalition that is the strength of this campaign. And based upon our joint efforts, we are very rapidly gaining the tactical and operational advantage as well. And ultimately, by continuing to work together, we will defeat this enemy. I would also point out that we were able to form the coalition as quickly as we did because of the, of the strong relationships that exist between our countries and in particular between our militaries. Over the past 13 and a half years, we fought alongside one another, we've conducted joint exercises, we trained together, we've cultivated friendships and a trust and confidence that enabled us to once again join forces and to be a part of a winning team. And it is indeed a winning team, and there's no doubt about it. As I said, this will take some time, but the exceptional team that we've assembled will defeat ISIL. And more importantly, through our, our efforts, we will do what is required to make sure that we're, what we're seeing happening now in Iraq and Syria does not happen again in the future. Mr. Ambassador, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you again for inviting us to join you on this festive occasion as you celebrate the 43rd anniversary of UAE's independence. And on behalf of the men and women of United States Central C Command, may you all accept our best wishes for continued prosperity, peace, and much, much happiness. Shukran Jazeelan. Before we close, uh, General Austin and I would like to invite all uniformed members of the UAE and the U.S. Armed Forces to join us here on stage for a photo and for just a moment of thanks.